yeah you're very welcome so today we are going to share with you just uh, gonna give you like um, uh, yeah a teaser of this course and also we're going to uh, share some uh, really short uh, concepts uh, that are based at the base of this course and also explain you a little bit more uh, what's going to happen and also especially give the floor to you to any question or anything you would like to share uh, so just wanting to share a bit more about drift so also feel free to ask question about it and also uh, in chat or also you can raise your hand uh, or uh, just unmute yourself i see more people are joining so welcome we just started so just a few words about drift uh, drift is uh, um, uh, has been uh, uh, founded in 2004 and is really aiming to support sustainability and just transition uh, and we do that through uh, different um, activities, so research, but very action research activities, consultancy, education, and what we call activism. So really having much more a connection with the, with the, the public and also really organizing different sessions. We are, as you can see in this picture, around uh, 35 uh, people working at Drift, all from different backgrounds and also uh, some also non, uh, non Dutch people. So, also diversity is also really important for us. So, this is just an overview of uh, some of our projects and uh, that we are leading. Uh, and we have been working in different sectors. So, it's really like kind of very broad uh, our work from social innovation to uh, sustainability, like energy transition, but also like urban transition, food transition, and so on. Uh, so one, what we do for facilitating uh, transition and, and towards like justice and sustainability, we have a lot of interaction with municipality, for example, where we really support them to facilitate like multi-actor uh, governance processes uh, in their context to also really advance sustainability transition. And also we really uh, organize different courses such as this one, uh, uh, both formal and informal, and also we have many uh, learning programs as part of our projects, but also at a university, for example. And just a few words about me. I've been working uh, at Drift since around six years. I have a background in environmental science, but I've been really uh, kind of um, developing myself more towards governance and social innovation, and also lately also in social justice and transi just transition and i'm originally from italy as you can probably understand from my accent or my name and and i like uh, a lot um, being in contact with nature and also photography as a hobby so uh, as part of the course you are not gonna only know me but also many other drifters as you can see in this picture so you're going to really learn from all our different experiences and practices and, and different projects and, and so on. So I'm going to share with you some of the basic concepts that are really at the, at the core of this course. <laughs> so, um, so first of all, it's like really the starting point of sustainability transition is that we really live in uh, very persistent problems. And we are really seeing this uh, right now more than ever. So, and these persistent problems are really complex, long, long term, and very uncertain, very embedded in societal structures. So, it's really hard, uh, it's impossible actually to manage them through like also um, existing solution or new solution. And also, there are a lot of different actors that are involved uh, in this, uh, in this uh, system. So it's really important to find new and uh, systemic way to address this problem and to also really accelerate sustainability transition and just transition. So in the case of sustainability transition, how they are defined are like consider more long term processes. So of like 20, 50 years, uh, also more than one generation and um, and also it's really about changing radically 
uh, in terms of culture, so also, for example, our beliefs, our values, our principle, but also structure, so like formal and informal rules, but also practices like our habits, our um, yeah, daily routines and so on. So it's really about supporting this radical transformation that are also at different levels in society. So not only at the kind of local level, but also national and uh, international. And, and this also brings to uh, why we need more alternative ways of, um, of governance, alternative governance uh, processes, because we really need to uh, engage different actors that are involved in the system and also really understand the system uh, in its complexity and also with its more multiple levels and and that's why like for example transition governance is really based on that and really trying to um, yeah uh, support uh, through different principles like a different way of uh, really engaging different actors and also really accelerating uh, new experiments and new, like also uh, really the application of also certain visions into practice. But I'm not going to go too much in that, but this is just to say that at the core of thrift, but also, um, yeah, sustainability transition is also really about learning to um, understand better the system complexity, but then also really applying into practice. So to really see what are these transition dynamics and then uh, understand what are kind of intervention that we can do uh, and also type of activities that we can implement and also identify the different actors that are involved and try to understand how to better engage them and so on. And, and this also brings to uh, justice and, and social justice, because what we understood is that there is not sustain sustainability without justice. This is already at the core of sustainability as a definition, but unfortunately, over the years, actually, we kind of lost uh, the justice within it, and we have been focusing too much on maybe the environmental side of it without really understanding um, what are kind of these blind spots of injustice that we are actually reproducing in our sustainability projects and practices and so on. So that's why it's also really crucial to um, integrate sustainability, uh, to integrate justice within sustainability approaches and, um, and also processes. Uh, and this also brings of the why of this course, because we wanted really to try to have different modules that will really give also, to put also justice at the core and to also really um, give the possibility to better understand what are, for example, drivers of injustice uh, in the context of urban sustainability and what can we do to avoid uh, this reproduction of injustices uh, over time. Uh, so this is like uh, something that we came out uh, from like Urbana project. Uh, so we, share, we will share also the link of the, of the project with you but just to say that we have really a lot of drivers of injustice that we really need to take into account uh, when really uh, also organizing or facilitating uh, processes of uh, sustainability and to also really, yeah, for example, not um, mm -hmm. contribute to some uh, negative impacts such as green gentrification. And there is also been a lot of work done uh, from our partner VCC, so that's part of uh, uh, Erasmus University, and they're also organizing various like webinar and other different activities that you can also um, uh, join. Um, so, but just to uh, share a bit more about the course. <coughs> So, yeah, so as I was just saying now, it's really about creating your own case, your own transition strategy. And that's also the first edition we are giving this course. And as I was saying also before, it's really building on different uh, courses we already gave uh, as part of the Transition Academy at Drift, but also as part of different uh, projects, especially international and European projects. And uh, we are looking for really yeah, this diverse group and 
uh, of around 20, 24, 25 participants. And, um, and this is like also you can choose your own rate. And we made this decision to also make the course more accessible and more inclusive because normally if you see also as also voucher shared if you see the rates of our um, yeah the cost of our other courses they are more expensive than than this course and um and then yeah here you have kind of uh, uh, different names of the different speakers and facilitator so is no you're not gonna learn only from me but also from all my colleagues that are going to bring in all their uh, different experiences and practices in different projects. Um, I already shared a bit about this, so sorry if it's a bit repetitive, but uh, in this is about really this combination of theory and practice, and everything is going to be accessible through like a, a shared learning platform. And we are also going to give you this short assignment so that you really are able to um, put uh, different tools uh, into practice. And we're also going to guide you in this process. Uh, and also, we are going to create what we called uh, peer learning groups. So we are going to make groups where you can also in like uh, or self organized and also really come back uh, uh, and also support each other as part of the whole course. And and also we have two uh, peer learning session that we will facilitate where we're also going to share some um, alternative like innovative methods of peer learning uh, that we also use a lot at drift so that we can you, you are really guided to uh, support each other and also give feedback to each other in a, in a constructive way uh, and so on um, so just this just to mention so that we are going to have two blocks uh, of modules in total 10 modules so uh, one block is going to be before the summer in may and june it's uh, like the first is just uh, more uh, getting to know each other and and then the other are really like uh, modules from different with different uh, drifters and also just to uh, connect to what i uh, shared before um, we are also in each module really going a bit more in depth on a specific case uh, and also really share with you some specific tools in relation to the topic. So, for example, the one on social justice and just transition, uh, we are going to have a case on uh, just mobility in, uh, in the south of Rotterdam, for example, or in the case of uh, the session with NEA, uh, we are also going to really explore and learn more from uh, water governance uh, in vulnerable areas in India and also in, uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa. And then in September, we are going to have other three uh, modules plus the comeback session, session that is really more for you to really share your learnings and also your, kind of your progress as part of your case. So it's really, again, to really learn from each other. And, and also here, in terms of topics, we are going to focus more on food transition with Anik, that she's really uh, an expert on food transition. She's been working in different projects on these also different contexts, such as uh, China, uh, but also she had in South Africa uh, and some other cases in the past. And uh, with Timo, we are going to dive on conflict and compassion uh, in, co in, in relation to sustainability and just transition and and so, so uh, and reflexive monitoring is going to be another one uh, and just to mention this I we don't really have time um, to go in depth on this but just to mention a few projects uh, where we are also really building on the insights from these different projects so one is Urbana uh, that uh, really aimed uh, at synthesizing and broken knowledge towards just and sustainable cities and we have been as part of this creating like really a community of practice where different practitioners but also different actors from different contexts have been um, coming together uh, and uh, went through like different steps of really understanding um, uh, what what means like what are also approaches towards uh, urban sustainability tra and transition and justice but also um, towards like really identifying 
policies and also innovative approaches. Um, so as part of the course, you're going to be able to learn more uh, from the project, also like access like the different materials that have been produced as part of this and um, and also the really learn from our insight. Another project is Connecting Nature. Um, I see some of uh, some of you that are here actually were part of another course on uh, co-creation of nature-based solution. So as part of this course as well, we are going to share uh, a bit about the framework that has been developed for really uh, facilitating co-production processes uh, for uh, really applying uh, and implementing nature-based solution. And, uh, and just to mention, other cases that are going to be part of this uh, course uh, is like another project that has been um, uh, like in collaboration with local teams in uh, Uganda, Ghana and Tanzania and has been focusing on empowering communities uh, for uh, really supporting water and uh, sanitation uh, governance in their communities. And also in relation to these uh, water for change projects in, uh, in India. Um, yeah, and then another project uh, is tomorrow. Uh, so in this, in this project, we are really been uh, empowering six different uh, local authorities to really uh, become leaders of the transition to work towards low carbon uh, cities and to also really become uh, climate neutral by 2050. So as part of this project, uh, actually we are already in the last year of this project, we have been really supporting this municipality to really develop like a multi-actor governance process in their city and to also really develop like a, a transition roadmap for becoming climate neutral. So as part of this project, we are going to share also the insights that we got from this and also uh yeah ways of really like supporting municipalities in doing uh, this process uh, and also tools and best practices around energy transition it could be good to uh, wrap up and show uh, the last uh, two slides yeah yeah indeed yes so yeah so also yeah so this is just a reminder that the deadline uh, is the 1st of April. Um, yeah, so that you can find the, the link to register on our website. And I think Bouter can also share it in the chat. And also for any other thing uh, that we are organizing at Drift, you can also sign up for our newsletter um, so that you can find, you can receive the, this newsletter where we include like also events or webinar or courses that we are organizing. And you can also follow up on our social media and uh, voucher is actually our communication coordinator and is doing a great job in that so yes i really want to thank you so much for participating today and it's been really nice to uh, get to know you and uh, i hope to see you many of you at the course and uh, and for any other question you can also always uh, uh, reach me uh, like uh, you have my email um, silvestri.drift.eu.nl so if you have some remaining question uh, just let me know or some issue with the registration and everything okay so thanks a lot have a good day uh, and take care <laughs>